in our cabin. A uh, very rough night. Pearl has been sick. There she is. Flossie's been sick. I haven't felt sick, but I haven't felt right. So I decided if I lie down, maybe the feeling of, I don't know, balance, it's all about balance, isn't it, will come back. Now, people who pay thousands of pounds for these cruises, how long do you feel ill for on the cruise? I remember my friend telling me that the sea was so bad on the cruise she went on that she couldn't pull into two ports and she got cabin fever, or whatever that is. We've got a nice young man looking after us called James from Goa. He is absolutely delightful. What a delightful young man. Um, the cruises are still not doing anything for me at the moment. I mean, there's a lovely view out the window still. I can't look at it, man. All those waves leaping about just make me feel so ill. I'm hoping now to go out tonight and see um, a ventriloquist because I'm really into puppets and stuff. But the fact is, will I be able to stay upright and feel okay to do it? I tell you what, at the moment, I'm not looking too... F and I'm not a negative person. But I mean, when you go on holidays, you don't expect to be confined to your bedroom because you're not feeling well unless you're in Spain and you've got a dicky stomach or something like that, you know? To actually inflict it upon yourself by paying for it seems a bit rough to me. <laughs> anyway, that's that for now. Bye-bye.